paper exactly. And you make this a little smaller. It seems a little out of proportion, so let me just cut that. Um, that was all the cardboard you guys found, right? Any more cardboard? You have to just kind of keep speed. You, have, you always have to keep speed in mind. Think about like the fastest way to make an effect without having to spend too much time. And to try to help you make the decisions that you can't make in Rhino or you know playing around with it. So now going back to what we were talking about in terms of you know, uh, cut through it, but you, know, um, you can still see it. So. We're looking at like that, and now we wanted to say, you know what? Let's see about maybe that's the water. Yeah. yeah. So maybe I want to cut and bring water in this way, or maybe I want to cut water, bring it in this way along this guy. It strengthens this one. Yeah. Whichever one you decide to do is going to strengthen. Can I make so, a perimeter around? Hmm? You can make a perimeter around it too, if you want. A perimeter? What do you mean? Like a little thing. I don't understand. You know how castles things have like a lake on um, a moat? An island. Why would you an do island. that? An island. You mean actually make it into an island? I mean it's a big Because what is gonna be around whatever. it? I mean that's that's big move. And what's the point? I mean you can just move the building into the water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And build your own fake island in, in the water. You could do that. Um, so right now, for now, I'm, I'm going to test something, and I'm going to use your kind of your ra your ratios here. So actually, let's see how this works. So if I used double your ratio, you see, yeah. which is actually a little smaller than that, it's something like this. And if I cut to fit that. Now if I came in here and said, okay, should I bring in the a water element? I'm, I'm imagining, I blur my eye, I basically squint my eyes so I don't see all the little you know, imperfections, but I think of the water comes in this way, or maybe the water comes in this way. Is this enough? Is it too much? Maybe it's too much. Maybe I need to bring this in the width of that, or maybe, one and one and a half of that width. So then I'll try again. So then I okay, that's a little better. Not as big and blocky, yeah. right? right? How deep should it go all the way? Maybe it should go all the way in. also use as a guide to, to strengthen the, the entrance from this street in so that's good yeah strengthens the entrance exactly All right so then what then you also start to sit down and let's cut an entrance same so then based on maybe the same proportion Maybe make it in half. 
but for now we're going to cut it to be around the same. And we'll see if it needs to get thinner than that. It needs to get thinner for sure. So, so notice now if this is my path leading up how it strengthened that, right? It really shot it. If if I turn this just to see what happens, it's more like shoot and then come in. Something comes in, right? But it seems less connected to this, less about this one, more about this one. Yeah. Almost like you need to sit and look this way. If I put it here, then I'm sitting here looking out. Maybe that's what I want. Yeah. Maybe you have both sides. You're looking into both sides. You're looking this way and this way. So for now, um, I think I'm going to leave it like that. And then this path, maybe it's too fat. What was the dimension there? 30, well, um, 20, 40? This is one inch. I didn't use a scale. So one inch to. But this map is to scale. So if you were going to, you know, say how big it is, how, how big is this bridge, 150 feet? Yeah, it's about 150 feet. So that means that 150, so 150 means that's 50 feet, 50, 50, 50. This is about 50 feet. So, um, so this is a, a more than 50 feet. So maybe this needs to get reduced, yeah. this path. Maybe cut it in half. But in terms of approach, maybe when it arrives, maybe it should be double. So then maybe it needs to go back to single. And when you reach it, maybe at the street level here, mm -hmm. you know, are you coming over the street? Or are you, you know, meeting the street? That's another question. Do you come over the street and then you enter from, no, we'll from meet here? No, we'll meet at the street. So you meet at the street level. So you could say you're coming into the street or you're, you're coming a little bit into the street so someone can, you know, can see you. But notice how it's not a big path. It's not, it's not a very strong, long approach, right? All right. So anyway, we'll cut it. And we'll also cut this guy out. So then, notice how when I did that, I also created an open space, a space that almost feels like it, it it's collecting something. Right? Either that or on this side, like a wrench. Right. Collect something this way or it collects something this way? Which way should it collect? I prefer, it I prefer this way. Prefer this way, right? Mm -hmm. It almost looks like it's accepting this yeah. bl block. It's kind of moving into it. Uh, and maybe we want to raise this a little bit. Uh, and also, you know, let's glue this underneath so we raise this. Uh, do you have any glue? I have this here. Yeah. That, that kind of Anyone have any white glue? Elmer, Solo? Well, I don't. No, it's okay. Thank you. You almost have to treat this Elvis like, I have an idea and I don't want to lose it. And I have to work quickly so it doesn't get lost. Right. And flesh it out. You know what I mean by flesh it out? Get it out there. Get it out there. Yeah. Get it out there as quickly as possible so you know if it has any substance to it. And if it doesn't, you know right away. Yeah. If you're spending too much time building your model, you get lost in the, in the mechanical aspect. Yeah. 
you know, my model, my model, and then two hours, three hours later, you forgot what you were doing. What was I doing again? You know what I mean? So you got to quick, quick. So it's all about like, hurry up and get the idea across. Even right now, I'm wasting time, but I'm doing it because I, I want to make, kind of want to prove a uh, point here. Yeah, I'm trying to make a step effect. I don't. I don't want to just, you know, yeah. uh, pretend that. I, I want it to be visible. And I want to try to do it in two directions. Me not using a ruler is the, the biggest no-no. I never do that. But I'm doing it right now because because I save time. Uh, but but unless you're a pro cutting without using a, a ruler, don't do it. And never, you know, uh, force the blade. Yeah. Be, be kind to the blade because otherwise it'll take your hand off. This is the final model we're building? It could be. Okay. I don't think you should uh, kill yourself trying to make a beautiful model. Uh, in the end, it should be more about the idea. All right. So, you know, my, my question then is like, why should anyone sit down there? So it's something to think about, you know? So, and then just just to play kind of my, my own, just to kind of like challenge what I'm doing, I want to split this in half and see if um, if I can make this uh, thinner, thinner, that yeah. water element. I think it's going to be better thinner. I think so too. Because it'll strengthen the kind of uh, the axis. Yeah. You know, we can even make it longer and see what happens with it. See if we're going too far. Is that oh, right? right. So it almost looks like this one and this one are coming together. Right. And it also kind of, as soon as you arrive, you see the water bringing you out there. Yeah, guiding you. Guiding you. So, so that's it. So f then for me, it's yeah. like I gotta cut that, and I'll actually sit there. I don't know if this is the angle that we chose. Oops. So, I would actually cut this. Okay, and you could do that later. Yeah. Um, and that means that this is... So, okay, 
we we made the path come in at his angle. So now maybe it should be coming in like this. All right, and it turns. Following this one. Oh, it, I see. De it depends, because then the water and this seem like they have a relationship. You could bring it at this angle too. So it's something you have to you have to get, think about a little bit. If you bring it like this, these feel more like these two feel like they're about to connect there. And then this also follows the street. Whatever you have going on on the street. Right, right. Whenever we do a street, whenever we do a model itself, always use a curb as another layer on top of your road. Never just draw the line of the oh, road. Oh, I see. Always cut another layer. Put it on top. You see? And so anytime you step up, it should be another layer. Guys, whenever you build a site model, never just do a flat model with like, I see this all the time, pasted down um, road. You see? Treat it as one material, but basically build layers. Like it's your road layer, then it's your curb layer, then it's like a, a platform layer. Always build layers. It's kind of like what we're talking about here. Very similar to the way you build steps. Build levels. Your ground, your your road level is the last level. Then your your curb, your sidewalk level level is another level. There's an actual sidewalk layer. So all your grids in here, those city grids, you're gonna see separate sidewalks, blocks. Got it? So that's either maybe it does this. I don't know. Maybe it goes into the water. Maybe the water does that. That's one way to do both at once. Wait, if you, knew, if you went to uh, See? Where your path and your water follow the same angle, but they mix into each other. The water comes to meet the entry, and then the entry, when you arrive there, comes to meet the water. So you can come out past the entrance and look down that way. And you can also look back at where you came from. So this is two, two different approaches. So now, if you're gonna just ma map in, let's mark in the bridge quickly, which is make it the same size. video. Straight edge. I can I can use my hand. It's okay. You went to the height of it? No, not so high. So it's like somewhere like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to block, I didn't want to take it too high to block the view of the Empire State Building. Because the bridge is like, what, 150, 200 feet high? Which means it would be the height of, of the, the width, pretty much. 
see. Somewhere around there. Here. Okay, which means you may be a little too high. But maybe, maybe not. Maybe you just need to scale this up a little bit. Yeah. All right, so that that's the case. It's going to be somewhere like that. Right. Uh, and for now, maybe we put just a support there. Maybe we put a support here. So when we're, when we're making the final model, we should show the bridge and stuff too? We don't need to show. Okay. Just, just uh, kind of like diagrammatically like we're doing right okay. now. Sometimes I don't remember some of the stuff that we talk about in class, but if he's talking about my project, I do a video and I go on my when I'm on a train, I, I look over it and over it and I probably pick up on it a bit. So that's why I keep doing it. It's, it's very good to, to do that, I think. Yeah, it helps. To record it. Yeah, it, it helps. Like you have extra time in class. Someone always shows up and says I wasn't in class, you know, and yeah. um, you miss a miss a lot. structural. I can build a house with this. Still gonna build that a part of it right here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be aligned with this, that side. Okay. So, so that's over there. So it's it's just about seeing masses. Yeah. What's next to you? How, how big is it? Yeah. This is the one that follows the bridge, right? Yeah. Okay. So, again with the water. This one follows the bridge. This oh, this one? Yeah. You sure about that? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. Oh, this one is on the Empire State. Only you would know. Because I went to that school. Because you were there picking up kids. 
Okay. So it gives you a better like an idea of like what's happening on the site and how do I arrive to the site? This is that street, street level. And this is just like, we're talking about like a, a path. So maybe there should be much more like in terms of platforms. Maybe there's another platform um, here. Some, somewhere yeah, I was, I was going to put a platform to connect this to somewhere over here. This and this platform is going to come out a little bit to, to, for a view, like an overhead viewing. Try not to do welded stuff. Because right now you already have two geometries okay. connected. You're going to end up with something like that, yeah, it's not gonna which is going to block everything. Then all this is lost. Yeah. All this kind of beautiful, you know, joining. Let the, let the objects f be free. It's all about like what you're looking to get. If you want a platform, you know, it don't have to be a platform. Uh, it could be a platform, but decide where you want it. Do you want it to be in here, maybe? Only, you know, follow that geometry. Don't try to do both. Be be true to one or the other. Don't don't uh, force it to be everything. You know what I mean? It's kind of like saying everything is doing everything. Then everything is doing nothing. It's all about give it an action, give it a direction. This is about view. This is about something else. This is about connection to the Statue of Liberty. If you were talking about uh, a path, so I'm just going to use your scraps. But if this is my pier, and maybe this is my, you know, yeah, I see. My thing going down, uh, and it's based on the same size. Maybe you want to go smaller. <laughs> Because you want to give it less of a hierarchy, you want to make it seem a little dominated, right. and then reduce it. So, what do you think I should do about that? If this, can I still build that, that higher hierarchy right here, even though the bridge is? Although you say we can scale the bridge. Yeah. So, maybe this is that pier, and then this is your your path to it. Something like that. So then this is perpendicular to that. Yeah. And then your water comes into the site, and then you have an approach, and you're saying the approach is aligned with your your block that's aligned with the bridge. It's the same right, angle. Right, same and this is the one that's going to connect you to Statue, Statue of Liberty yeah. over there, mm -hmm. visually. So that way, the 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 water you have you have it come into the site, and and uh, you're bringing some of that in. You're also bringing some land out there. I do yeah. that. Uh, and then, and then, if you're looking to do platforms, figure out where's the best place to do that. And you know, how far out? You don't want to lose the air and light that you have down here. Yeah, Maybe true. you need another platform down down here, another kind of elevated, you know, ground uh, platform. Maybe it comes out over there. I don't know. Maybe not. See, this is it. Everything following one angle. Right. So this is it following the other angle. So that the, opening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I feel like this is working against you. I would take this I'm gonna off. Ta yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna. I'm gonna build this side. Yeah. Up. And let this be free. Let that hinge. Let that jo joint. Oh, so it's okay free. for it to touch right here, but just sure. free this. Yeah. This is being supported by its structure. This is being supported by its own structure. They don't even need to be connected, these things. This can be gone. Yeah, I'm, I'll take it off. Uh, it looks like you can still connect between the two if you want to, yeah, but you don't have to have, you know, um, you know, such a solid connection. Oh, Maybe it's a what? small connection. I can, yeah, I can probably create a, a, a part to here, here, to this right here, but break this off. So you yeah. see, this and can connect to this right here. Right. And maybe it decide turns. on one. Decide on one angle. Like, come in. Des decide when you're inside, which approach do you want? Is it this one coming through? And you're going to see that? Don't try oh. to do the bend. Oh, I see. I see Don't try to do one, you know, both. <coughs> try to decide on one. Oh. Try to decide on one. 
you're probably looking at us like, what are they doing, right? Like, what is this? I'm trying to see what's left. <laughs> it, it looks like, well, I'm just curious because of the material. It's like a truss. Yeah. Type of system. Exactly, yeah. So this is Foundations, and uh, they're working on okay. something which was the origami exercise. I, remember, I thought, since you were up to three. Yeah. No, this is two. No, this is one. This is one. Okay, so that's what, what I'm trying now. to yeah, what I'm trying to get them to do is not to think of this as just a folded origami that you just repeat and repeat and repeat. And that's going to somehow make up architecture. So instead, we're using a module and then we're, we're creating new, a structural form. It's, it's, it's basically like an architecture truss. It's a truss, but you can create these kind of different types of spaces by inserting planes and and surfaces. So these guys are all working on their. I did a lot of straws and toothpicks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. That's uh, pasta? Pasta, yeah. Cool. Actually, I'm just going to photograph this. Uh, hold on, let me cut this. <laughs> Thank you. 